Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. This time let's go ahead and connect to our VPN server using PEAP TLS authentication instead of PEAP MS chat. So PAP TLS, we're going to use client certificates to authenticate. So we need a certificate on the server, of course, but also this time we need one on the client, and it can be a computer certificate or a user certificate. So I'm on my network policy server, DC01, which is the radius server for our VPN server. And I'm on network policies. I'm just going to right-click on it and go to properties. Let's go to constraints, and we're going to select authentication methods. Select PEAP and click Edit. And instead of Secured Password, let's go ahead and remove that. We're going to add Smart Card or Other Certificate. So that's going to be PEAP TLS. Click OK. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And that's it. We don't have to configure anything on our VPN server. The authentication happens here on our Radius server. So let's go over to the Windows 7 client. We've already got the VPN connection that we configured in the last movie, so we just need to make a quick adjustment to that. So I'm going to right-click on it and go to Properties. Let's go to the Security tab. And under PEAP here, we're going to go to Properties, change this from Secured Password to Smart Card or Other Certificate, and click OK. Click OK again, and that's it. So now we can go ahead and connect with PEAP TLS. Now, Real quickly, before I do that, if we'd like to see the certificates on this particular machine, just type in MMC, go to File, Add, Remove, Snap-In, Certificates, I'll add the user, and also add the computer account so we can see them both. Now, we don't necessarily need both the user and the computer. It's just we need one so one can authenticate. And, of course, whatever group we have in our network policy defines who can log in or who can VPN in. So if the computer account's in that group, then the computer can authenticate. If the user's in that group, then the user can authenticate. And, of course, if the computer can authenticate, then any user that can log in to the computer can VPN in. If the user can authenticate, then only that user can authenticate. So if other people logged into this particular computer, they couldn't necessarily VPN in unless they had access. So let's take a look at the user certificate real quick. There it is, administrator. And this happened via auto enrollment that we uh, configured earlier. Now we can take a look at the computer certificate. And there it is. This computer's name is test. So the certificate is test.itdvds.local. Again, we, we configured this certificate earlier. So let's go over to our domain controller real quick. And it was the accounting users group that has permission to VPN in. So if I double-click on it and go to members, I can see I've got my administrator account and the test computer. So either one of those could authenticate. Uh, I'll go ahead and remove the computer so that I'm going to be use my, using my user certificate in order to authenticate. All right, if I scroll over, we see we've got a couple different certificates here. So I'll go ahead and close out of this, and let's take a look at one more configuration here. Let's go to our VPN connection to, to work, go to Properties. And let's go to that Security tab, and EAP, let's go ahead and click on Properties, our PEAP. And down here where we selected Smart Card or Other Certificate, let's click on Configure. So the default is going to be Use My Smart Card. If we have a Smart Card, that's what we want to select. Uh, if we're using a certificate on this computer like I'm using, I'm going to select that option. And we can use a simple certificate selection if we'd like, or uncheck this and pick a certificate. I, I'll just leave that checked, and uh, whether or not we want to validate the server certificate. Again, if we're doing this, then we need to select our CA that's going to validate the certificate or connect to a certain server to validate the certificate. 
and click OK. Click OK again. OK. And now let's go ahead and connect. Select our VPN connection to work and click on connect. And we're connected. So now we're connected with PAP TLS. So we're using the user certificate to authenticate as opposed to the user the username and password that I would type in with PAP MS Chat version 2.